Hello everyone, this is your teacher Mrs. C. Williams Massey and today we will be doing an experiment on surface area and volume. So we have two glass beakers with hydrochloric acid in it, a spatula, a mortar and pestle and two pieces of chalk. That chalk, the active ingredient in it is calcium carbonate and of course it's colored pink. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put one piece of that chalk into the mortar and pestle and then we're going to grind it up. This time we have crushed one half of the chalk and now we're going to just use a spatula to gather all the particles together so that we can transfer it to the glass beaker. Remember that this crush chalk here was basically the same size as this. So let me add this to the beaker so you can look at the reaction taking place. And this piece of chalk right here has a larger volume and a very low surface area. Whereas what's in this mortar, it has a very high surface area but a low volume. So you will see that the powdered chalk is dissolving in the acid rapidly and the reaction is marked by the presence of these bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Over here in this beaker, because of the very large volume and low surface area, only surface molecules are totally being dissolved right now. So even if I move it around, the reaction is barely taking place at the surface. So now several minutes have passed by and we can see that the chalk that was a little bit whole, the acid has broken it down somewhat and now we have over here the reaction with the powdered chalk, it has decreased to the point that it appears as if it has stopped. So you'll see now that most of the, ch the powdered chalk has been dissolved whereas the whole piece now is still there.